we have two types of charge carriers electrons and holes the direction of current is opposite to the direction of flow of electron if the electron is flowing from left to right this is the flow of electron then the current will be from right to left and uh, this current the current i we call as conventional current conventional current and uh, the natural current is having the direction same as the flow of electrons so the natural current let's say it is i dash is having the direction from left to right that is the same direction of the flow of electrons so this is the natural current now current will be there because of holes and thus we have two types of charge carriers electrons and holes you already know about electrons and in this presentation we will see how holes act as the charge carrier i have silicon lattice in which the doping is boron we have doped this silicon lattice with the trivalent impurity and thus we have hole in this lattice I have already explained you about the pentavalent doping and the trivalent doping so we will straight away move to the movement of holes in this lattice this is the hole neighboring electron will move like this and uh, we have electron instead of a hole so I will remove this hole and uh, we have electron here this electron is now at this point so here we have a hole and hole is nothing but the absence of electron electron move to this point so here we don't have electron that is the absence of electron so we have hole at this point so you can say that the hole was at this point and now it has moved to this silicon atom so hole is also moving this dotted line shows the movement of hole now again the neighboring electron will move and we have electron here this electron has moved to this point so we have electron here and the hole was at this point but now because of the movement of this electron we have hole at this silicon atom so the hole is moving in this way so initially hole was here then it moved to this point and then it again moved to this point in this way the hole will move in the lattice and uh, the direction of the current is same to the direction of the hole the direction of current will be from right to left and also the whole movement is from right to left so hole is having the same direction as the direction of the current this is very simple thing to understand to fill the hole electron from the neighboring atom will move and uh, because of this movement of electron we again have hole at the position of electron and it appears that hole is moving and this is like positive charge is moving because when this silicon atom donated this electron it has a positive charge and again it took the electron from this silicon atom so it is now neutral but this silicon atom will have positive charge so positive charge was here now it is here so it appears that the positive charge is moving and we already know the flow of current is same as the flow of positive charge so this presentation has explained you how the hole moves in the semiconductor and it also contributes to the flow of current you already knew the electron flow and now you also know how the holes flow in the semiconductor so if you have any doubt regarding this thing you can ask in the comment section i will end this presentation here see you in the next one